Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm going to share um, this setup that I did using animation nodes and sphere chalk. Um, basically, this is a, kind of like a combination of the previous two live nodings where I'm kind of uh, playing around with uh, multiple objects and multiple kind of animating multiple matrices of the objects. Um, What's interesting here is actually I'm using um, both animation nodes and stretch up. We know that uh, animation nodes has some kind of system that's allowing you to to kind of offset and using the fall off um, with whatever nodes that's provided by animation nodes here, whether it's delay, wiggle, or object controller. In this case, I'm using object controller. Um, so the setup is actually pretty simple in animation nodes. So I have this um, these objects that basically um, a torus and I kind of uh, self fracture it. So now it's become like this kind of objects, and these guys are being controlled by the scale is actually being controlled by animation nodes, simply by plugging the bring all the fractures into animation nodes as uh, fracture groups and I'm animating the scale inside animation nodes and I'm using the initial transform setup and offset the matrices and using the fall off. So you already know this from previous live noting but what in, what's interesting here is actually I'm bringing all these objects into sphere chop and kind of look at it look at every object scale value and then Using the scale value, I am actually controlling the color of the object as well. So you can see here as I'm kind of animating, the objects actually changing color and actually getting smaller as well. And those are being controlled using both animation nodes and stretch up. If I look at it from 3D view full and try it again, so just simply by moving that object. I'm changing the color. The color is controlled using sphere chalk and then the scale is controlled using animation nodes and they both kind of work together. So yeah, you get the idea. Uh, still pretty basic but um, it's really really powerful because um, if you think about it, you can have this kind of control not just for the transformations or for the color changing. You can control anything, like uh, any attributes that you can think of. Um, so if if you have an object with uh, some kind of uh, con your custom props or maybe like a rig character that you're animating and then you want to control the action, maybe the animations of the actions, you can control all of those using animation nodes or sphere choke or maybe both of them like in this case really um, if I really want I, instead of using object controller I can use any other nodes I actually have not played around much with it but let's see follow let's try wiggle so wiggle is very very simple just plug in like a frame and plug into the evolution I believe and plug the fall off into this guy and you will see animations start to happen and if we look at it from 3d view full it should be a little bit faster and I'll play back so now the objects as it is like uh, changing in scale it is also changing in color and you get this kind of uh, complex looking effects so I guess that's a uh, pretty cool effects. Let me turn off the ambient occlusion as well. It should actually be a little bit faster but we have like 100 over 100 objects in the scene and or maybe because I'm recording as well and let's see I think sometimes changing the data actually makes things a little bit slower uh, let me quickly check this if I unplug this and run the simulations 
So that's a bit slow. If I maybe if I turn off stretch of calculation, maybe it will be a little bit faster. Um, let me turn this turn this off and then play back. Okay, that's animation noise. That's actually the speed is not too bad. Now if I try processing the stretch of and plug the objects and check it again. Well, it's a bit slow, but I think it's, um, you can always bake this. Mm, yeah, so I'll summarize what's happening. Um, we have animation nodes set up here that's controlling. Um, we have this kind of animations being controlled by the fall of, of this node. And then what's happening with Svechok is that it's looking at the scale of every object. If the scale is getting smaller, it's changing color into um, like a blue color. If the scale is one, it's actually turning back into purple color. So yeah, if I scrub it, it's, it's not actually, the speed is actually not too bad. It's pretty fast. So it's kind of like one, one node dri driving another node based on the value of the others. Maybe I need to turn on the mix. No, I think the speed is not too bad. It's just uh, maybe I forgot to uncheck something, or but that's the that's the whole idea. So basically, if you can control, you can create a setup in animation nodes. You can also pass it in, into Spreadshop to do something else. It can be very very powerful. Um, yeah. So. Hopefully you like this one and find this useful. If you have any question, feedbacks, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next